Hola y bienvenidos a esta lección. En esta lección vamos a hablar de los verbos ser e ir en el pretérito. Ser and ir in the preterite. Ser to be, ir to go in the preterite, preterite past tense, past tense actions completed in the past. Um, for example, I opened the door, I ate the burrito, I walked the dog. Okay, um, let's, let's just do a quick refresh of preterite. You'll remember the endings for AR verbs, e, hasta, o, amos, aron, er, and ir, e, iste, yo, imos, yeron. That doesn't mean a lot if you're going conversational, but that's a whole different story. Um, I opened the door, for example. Yo abrí la puerta. That's a distinct action that was completed in the past. I opened the door. Not I used to open the door for people, but I opened it. Yo abrí la puerta. Not yo abro. That's present tense. Yo abrí. I opened. Okay, um, if I want to ask somebody, oh, you bought the shirt? You bought the shirt? Tú compraste la camisa? Compraste? Two form. Uh, did he return the book to the library? Él devolvió el libro a la biblioteca? Devolvió. He returned. Él devolvió. Um, okay, now we have that pattern. I grilled you guys on it a little bit. And, uh, and now it's time to learn a couple that don't follow that pattern. Like I said, ser and ir. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to do these in the preter. You should at least be familiar enough to recognize them and know what they are. There are several irregular preter verbs, but ser and ir are the ones that we need to hit today. Um, ser, of course, to be. I am, you are, he is. Ir, to go. I go, well, in the past tense, it would be I went, he went, she went. Or to be, I was, you were, they were. Okay. They're conjugations. They both have the same conjugations. That's the good news. So all you have to learn is these conjugations, and you're good for both of these irregular verbs. Um, yo form. Yo fui. Yo fui. Tú fuiste. Él, ella, usted fue. Nosotros fuimos. Vosotros, if you're into that. Fuisteis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes fueron. Okay, you might want to scribble those down in your notebook or in your diario. Um, fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Now, I will tell you one thing here. Over the years, I've noticed that people always get the fui and the fue mixed up. Um, here's an easy way to remember. When it's yo form, when it's an I, like I went or I was, in the yo form, it has the I at the end. When it's the el, ella, or usted form, all three of those words have E's in them, it's fue. So when it's I, it's fui. When it's L.A. usted, fue. So please don't get those two confused. Changes the meaning. Okay, once again, fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. I went, you went, he went, she went, you went, we went, they went, y'all went. I was, you were, he was. Okay. Let's, um, let's try a couple of these. Let's see how they go. So if you want to say, I went to the library... What would you say? Yo what a la biblioteca. Yo fui a la biblioteca. You went to the pharmacy? Tu fuiste a la farmacia? Carlos went to his friend's house. Now be careful and remember, we do not use that apostrophe S to show possession in Spanish. How would we say that, let's first start with this, how would we say Carlos's friend? Or I'm sorry, his friend's house. Okay, we would say the house of his friend. So how do we say that? La casa de su amigo. So Carlos went to la casa de su amigo. How do you say that? Carlos fue a la casa de su amigo. Okay, once again, I'm going to put this back up on the screen while I give a few closing comments. Um, you just got to know these. Uh, we're going to practice them. We're going to use them so much that hopefully they kind of start to stick and they, they get ingrained. Um, but for now, let's start with the chart. Let's, let's study this. Let's know it. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Um, if you're in my class, you'll see I've got it over on the whiteboard on the side, in the side of the room. Um, oh! Here's something else I can mention. 
uh, in the video last time, not last time, a couple times ago, uh, a couple videos back, uh, I went around doing queaceres, uh, doing a little, a few errands around town. Um, what are some things I did? I went to the supermarket. How would you say that? Yo fue al supermercado. Yo fui al supermercado. You might remember I went to the bank. How would you say I went to the bank? Yo fui al banco. Okay, so we've done a couple of yo forms. Let's change it to the el form. Um, you're talking uh, to somebody and you say, Oh, Señor Norton went to the post office. How would you say he went to the post office? El blank al correo. El fue al correo. Okay. Where else did I go that day? Oh, I went to the service station. A la gasolinera, or the estación de servicio. How would I say, or how would you say to a friend, Oh, you went to the gas station. You went to the service station. How would you say that? No, let's make it a question. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Make it a question. Did you go to the gas station? Did you go to the service station? Tú a la estación de servicio? Tú fuiste a la estación de servicio? I think I just said la estación de servicio a moment ago. I apologize. Tú fuiste a la estación de servicio? Okay. So um, that's how that was. That morning, that morning when I went around doing a lot of things, fue una mañana very productive. Fue una mañana. I had to throw a ser in there because all the others seem to be ears. It was a very good morning. Fue una mañana muy buena. Hice muchas cosas. Bueno, eso es todo. Your assignment, write down one place that you went. Number one, write down one place that you went yesterday. Number two, write down one place that your friend went. And write one place that you went with somebody else. In other words, number one is yo, number two is él, ella, number three is going to be nosotros. Okay. Eso es todo. Gracias por escuchar. That's an introduction to your irregular preterites, especially ser and ir. Chao.